integrating multiple disciplines with Open Rail Designer. So I'm in my design again. I have my 2D model on the left and the 3D on the right. And the green outline is actually my just my terrain model boundary. So what we can do now is uh, collaborate with other disciplines uh, by using reference files. So we end up with a, a common data model where we can see the updates and any changes, even though we may not be responsible for that particular piece of work. So the first thing we can do is attach our aerial photographs. And again, we can use a couple of TIFF files here. So therein, we can attach our reality mesh. Again, I'm going to use the uh, geographic coordinate system, and that's going to come in and be attached to the 3D model. I can just zoom in a bit here so we can see it. Here we are. We could also attach our concept model. So we had a concept design using Open Rail Concept Station. We can attach that. And there is the, the concept design. And in this, we've got a, a platform area. We've got a bridge, which was just really a, a placement holder for the for the full bridge design. So for using an open bridge modeler, we'd want the, the bridge designer to give us the, the correct design. So what we're gonna do here is just turn off the bridge levels for our concept and we will reference in the bridge design from the bridge team. And there's my bridge, which was done using Open Bridge Modeler. So the last piece is the new station. This is being designed using Ecosim Building Designer. So again, we can go to our references, attach, and we have the station in here. And the only thing we need to do here is turn on live nesting. So now we have all the pieces of our construction.